Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk through a GitHub workflow I created a while ago just to show you some of the cool things you can do with GitHub workflows. So what does this workflow do? If you create a pull request against the main branch, first of all, it runs some tests. In this example, we have a node application. So the tests are using Jest. If the tests pass, it turns on a smart lamp green in my office. It then plays some celebration music on a smart device. In this case, it's a Google Home. After 10 seconds, it sends a request to a Raspberry Pi, which takes a photo, uploads it to cloud storage, and then a comment is posted to the GitHub pull request with the photo. So let's just walk through and show you how this works. So if you don't know, GitHub workflows are usually stored in this file under .github workflows. So if we go in here, uh, we can look at it. So first of all, we said that this pull request, this workflow is triggered on pull requests and just to the main branch. So this section here is the trigger. You could also have other triggers um, and you can see those in the documentation. The workflow then has a list of jobs. In this case, we just have one job called build and it runs on Ubuntu latest. You could also run your job on Windows um, or some other Linux distribution. And we're gonna use node version 16 to run this. And then our job has some steps. So the first step usually in every workflow is checkout. And this just checks out a repository. And our next step is to use Node.js version 16, which we defined here. And it basically sets up node version 16 and sets that all up. And then the next step is it installs our dependencies using npm CI. npm CI, if you don't know, it's like npm install, except it picks up all the versions from the package lock file. Then the next step is running our tests. And as we mentioned, then we have a couple of smart steps here. So we turn on our office light. And this is actually using a GitHub action that I created, um, which uses TP action. And this is it here. So if we look here, all that this basically does is it creates a request to the TP link API and it can turn on plugs, bulbs, all that sort of stuff. So I actually created um, this custom action here that I can use in the workflow and it takes a couple of parameters. So to authenticate, we need our email and password. So we store these as secrets in the repository. And we're just saying the device type is a HS100 and device ID and the operation we're using is power on. So all those parameters are passed in to our action. And then it's basically able to perform that operation to turn on the, the bulb. So then the next step is play celebration song with Spotify. And here I'm using an action that existed before, which is just to send a HTTP request you can make HTTP requests to the Spotify API and that can be used to play music on a device. So here again, I'm just passing in the device ID as a secret and I'm making a push request. And here again, we just had, um, we're sending some data with the request um, and that's gonna allow us to play the music, this part. So if you wanted to create a workflow to play music, you would use this portion here and just put in your own secrets. And the secrets are actually stored, if you go to the settings tab, and we go to secrets, you can actually store secrets here in your repository like this. So here's all the secrets that I'm using in this repository. So next up then, uh, after we are playing the music, we're then going to take a picture. And this is something that's quite custom to this workflow. So if you wanted to copy everything here, this part wouldn't work for you. So we have this take celebration picture. It's gonna send a request uh, to my Raspberry Pi. And it's, my Raspberry Pi has a program running it, which will accept the request, take a picture, upload it to cloud storage and respond with the ID of that picture in cloud storage. So it will be able to respond information about the picture and then whoever sent the request can use that. In this case, the final step of this workflow is to post the celebration picture and it basically uses the ID 
from the step before to post the picture to the pull request. And that's it. That's all of the steps in this GitHub workflow. Now we can see all of that in action. So to trigger the workflow, I'm just creating a pull request here. As soon as I've created the pull request, it's going to trigger the workflow to start. First of all, it's going to set up the node environment, install dependencies. The tests have just passed, so my green light has come on. It's now playing some music on Spotify, but for copyright reasons, I can't have that sound on YouTube. So the music is playing. My Raspberry Pi now is taking a picture. And finally, the picture is posted to the pull request. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.